I'm so excited, you guys. Uh, I know what God is going to do here is going to be amazing. So I told the pastor, I said, woman of God, you know, I don't have a lot of product right now. A lot of my stuff is out of stock, but I have product, but not as much as I would like. She said, that's okay. She said, the most important gift is you. And I was like, what? So that just really encouraged me, you know, guys, because sometimes we are like hard on ourselves and we look down on what we have. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm a perfectionist. I like everything to be perfect. I love order. I hate when things are chaotic or out of order. So, and when I do something, I always want to be in excellence with that. And yeah, so I want to give everybody all of what I have, you know. So I feel kind of bad that I don't have all of my books in stock, you know. So I felt some kind of way. Uh, I got 16 books right now. So yeah, I got a, a few of them, but not all, all 16 like I like. So. Anywho, you guys, yeah, we just stopped by McDonald's and she's chop, 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 chopping down on some chicken nuggets. I just had a small thing of fries. I don't really have a huge appetite. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to drive uh, and eat a bunch of food. Because I'd be like, oh God, I start getting sluggish. I start feeling some kind of way. So I just like to eat something light. Uh, when I travel, I don't like to eat a bunch of food and you know, try to drive. And, yeah, <laughs> so I just had some fries and just sipping on water and um, just meditating on you know tonight. Tomorrow I, got, I have to speak for about 15 minutes, something quick, and she wants me to give a corporate prophecy. So I'm going to seek the face of God and get a word to release tomorrow to encourage these women. And the theme of the conference is called Refiner's Fire. And I know all about the Refiner's Fire. 2014 was like the worst year of my life. So, yeah, I know all about that, you guys. I definitely went through the fire. I had to get over because there's a, there's a little truck inside of me. I hate when like a, a truck in front of you and they be turtling like, ah, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys. Tomorrow, my sister underneath me, her and her family, she got all those kids, like eight kids. They're moving back to North Carolina, so I get to see my sister, Ashley, who I was actually raised with uh, as a, you know, uh, you know, as a youth. So um, I get to see her tomorrow, and it's my nephew's birthday, Oliver. Remember the? I don't know if y'all remember Smiling Little Baby. Uh, he's biracial, uh, so he is turning one tomorrow so yay so after this conference ends uh tomorrow morning we'll drive back down to Fayetteville and go to this party I was running. I was just like the 
prophet Jonah. I said, God, I don't want to do this. No, no, I want to do what I want to do. <laughs> so then, at the time I was married and the, my husband at the time just, you know, uh, it didn't work out. And I was bitter. I was scorned about it. And I had an anger issue. I lashed out in anger. To make a long story short, because I want to be in order. Amen. I believe in doing things in order. I was on probation for two years. Uh, this is a tough time for me. Colorado was my wilderness season. In that season, those tough years of my life, crying out, broken. I thought my life is over. I thought, God, this is the end for me. You can't have anything good for me. I, here I am, divorced. Here I am, you know, my chances of medical school is over. How could you use someone like me? One day, I yielded to God. I said, yes. God cleansed up my life. I no longer compromise. I said, God, I'm going to close the door to sin. I'm going to get on fire for you. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say amen. And I said yes and amen. So just awesome how you said yes and amen. So I said, okay, God. So he said, get on the laptop right. See, when you apply yourself with God, He'll bring out ideas and things inside of you that you didn't even know you had. I said, okay, God, what am I going to write? He said, start a blog. So I started a blog. He said, turn that blog into a book. So here it is. 2014, I wrote my first book about my life. Now I've written 17 books. I just finished the 17th book today. You know, I used to be an ex stripper, you know, an ex Buddhist. You know, how my, my life is jacked up. So God said, it don't even matter. God anointed me. You put power inside of me. You gave me a healing ministry, deliverance ministry, prophetic ministry. And then God restored my life. He caused this man of God to find me, to marry me. And I was like, oh my God. And I was just doing what I was going to do. yielded to God, he set me free and he allowed me just to go for it. Yeah. You know, and I don't care anymore. Amen. Because I'm free. Yeah. 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 I yielded to God and um, you know I just I began to write. Write. And writing was my therapy. It healed me. Hurt people don't have to hurt people, other people. Hurt people can heal other people because they know how it feels to be hurt. So in my hurt and my brokenness I ushered other people into God's presence and allowed them to get healed from pain and brokenness. So I yielded to God and everything God told me to do, I obeyed and the blessings followed. Amen. I got evicted before, but God provided. Amen. Amen. You know, God went through so much warfare, but I, I stayed faithful. So as I stayed faithful, God gave me my own publishing company. Wow. Amen. I need this, I need this, I need $50,000 to get this book published. No. God is saying, I can make you your own CEO of your own business. Amen. 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 So now, Monday through Friday, when I'm not ministering, I help other people write their books. Awesome. Walk in their purpose and talents. Amen. So I just thank God for this opportunity. Wow. And I just got some product back in there. Uh, I don't got all my products, but I just thank Pastor Natasha for encouraging me. Because like, oh my God, I don't got all my products. Yeah. And she said, well, the most important gift is you. And that just made me wow. Wow. I'm excited about tonight. Yeah. So me and Mariah just got in the hotel room. Really, really sweet deal. Everybody's nice. I want to give you guys a tour of the, you know, the hotel. So yeah. So this is Mariah. She's my assistant. You know, she's kind of looked around. How'd you feel being mommy's assistant? You liked it? You like eating good? Yeah, so. So, yeah. So, a nice shower. Nice. Yep. So, let's, let's go look around, team. So, it's pretty nice. Um, I'm actually going to have my conference at the Hilton Garden Inn. Not this one in Durham, but one in Florence, of course. 
but yeah so you guys kind of see the tour of the room you know that you guys are coming it's gonna be very nice um i met a lot of amazing people a lot of people got my books they were some they were shocked you guys oh look a curric this is what i want for my birthday july 1st you guys july 1st yes uh and i got fruitopia so i'm about to eat this i mean i said drink eat it i meant drink it <laughs> yeah we are on the seventh floor team the seventh floor and i can't even figure out how to okay look it's a long way down yeah that's nowhere near my car yeah we're on the seventh floor okay so let's look at the rest of the room to bed my bed i sleep close to the door and mariah's bed over there and this little tv it's about 11 o'clock 11 35 at night you know i'm probably gonna lay down babe sleep i called him he probably sleep yeah he go to bed early yeah so we're gonna eat our mcdonald's and there's a little chair over there a little sitting chair stuff like that table so we're gonna eat our McDonald's and yeah, and just relax. And then tomorrow we're gonna go back down to finish the conference up. And then um, once we finish the conference up, after afterwards it's a nice catered lunch. And that's one of the things I'm doing for my conference is having a nice catered lunch. So I just kind of see that how my, my how my event is gonna run yeah so this is very nice so i went to pa pastor natasha james her conference uh me ona ministries went to her conference and that's a blessed woman of god knew her for i know her for a, a long time maybe like three years on a conference call um it's good to know some meet some people in person right hopefully i get to meet you guys in person and it's awesome to have apostles and prophets and people speak in my life and just connect with other apostles and prophets and this is a blessing so i'm about to um ch chat on on this i got a crispy chicken sandwich yeah crispy chicken sandwich from mcdonald's yeah i got babe on these yeah, I don't get burgers. I always get the crispy chicken. So I'm gonna show you guys my crispy chicken sandwich. So I'm about to chow down and I'll speak with you soon. Peace.